I have had companies completely ghost of them flat out rejecting me. Let's get into the actual results. I know this is what you've been waiting for. I applied to 241 software engineering internships last year, and this is what happened. As you know, software engineering jobs right now are especially competitive. Like you can't go on social media without seeing one meme at least about a computer science major being homeless in the future, or that AI will replace all software engineers, which is just absolutely crazy, by the way. So let's just see how bad the job market actually is. In today's video, we're gonna talk about not only how I applied to all the internships, what the results were, but also key things I. I learned and then all of the different interview processes that I went through. Then I'm also gonna give you tips that I found helped me specifically get these jobs. And finally, we'll figure out, is it actually worth it in the end? First of all, because I know you guys are wondering about the resume specifically, before applying to these jobs, I had absolutely no big tech experience, but I did have three previous internships at relatively no name companies, which are the government of Canada, and then two internships at TRC. This is what it looks like, by the way, ignore the annotations, it's from this video that I made. Actually, I highly recommend you guys Guys check it out. But the idea is to follow Jake's resume template on GitHub, then go with your education, some work experience. I like throwing in my leadership experience and then just list out your coding projects and some technical skills. Do not underestimate how critical it is to have a perfect resume. Spend hours and hours on it. It will pay dividends for you. And I know you're also probably wondering, how in the world did you apply to 241 internships in just a couple months? Did I use LinkedIn? Yes. Did I use my university's job boards? No, I actually made sure I did these three things to get all of the applications. First of all, there's this absolutely goaded resource on GitHub. Search for Summer 2025 Tech Internships by Pit and Simplify. Every single day, this GitHub repository gets updated with every single job posting that ever comes out with anything related to software engineering. And then I'll just go ahead and click on the apply button and then fill out those applications every single day. Now it's critical that you're actually applying every single day because you need to be the first person person to apply to these jobs to increase your chances. While I was applying to these jobs, I actually saw quite a few big name companies close their applications and hire someone within a 48 hour window. It's absolutely mind blowing. So to make sure I also never miss an application, I went to this website called sweelist.com. And as you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. They have every single job posting for tech internships or new grad tech jobs. And all I have to do is fill out what you're looking for, whether it's internships or grad roles, and then you drop in your email. And then every single morning you get emailed with every single job posting that came out the day before. Look at what it looks like. The day I'm recording this video, you can see that 22 new internships were posted today and I got emailed it into my inbox. And I could go ahead and apply to the specific ones that I'm interested in. And also getting that email is a great reminder to actually go and apply to these jobs because honestly, it's so easy to forget sometimes. Finally, towards the end of my recruitment cycle, I was starting to get extremely desperate and I was tired of getting automatically rejected by other AI software. So I decided to use an AI software on my own. And that's where I found this website called usemassive.ai. It's really cool. You basically just give it your resume and it applies for jobs for you. And that's actually not the feature that sold me. Look at this. I screen recorded what it does on your phone when you download their Tinder for jobs app. So every single day I'll just wake up and swipe left or right on all of these different job postings and then it would go ahead and apply for me. Because it was so easy, I would literally do it on my phone while making breakfast or something. And it ended up getting me a bunch of interviews surprisingly. Like most notably, it got me an interview at 0.72. So I know it works. If you want to try it, I actually liked it so much, I asked them to sponsor this video, so check out the link in the description. But in general, you need to remember that applying to jobs is a numbers game. If you get hundreds of rejections, but one job offer, will you care about all those other times you got rejected? No. So make sure every single morning you're waking up and applying to at least three to five jobs and i promise it'll work out for you in the end anyways enough rambling let's get into the actual results i know this is what you've been waiting for all right so of my applications as of right now i have had 117 companies completely ghost me they didn't even bother giving me a follow-up or to reject me that is absolutely mind-blowing because that's nearly half of the jobs that i applied to i cannot believe that this is how some companies treat their applicants but anyways now of the companies that actually bothered responding to me 88 of them flat out rejected me. That is nearly a third of the jobs that I applied to. And there were quite a few moments where I was absolutely depressed and worried about what I was gonna do with myself next summer. The job market is absolutely brutal and applying to jobs takes so much of not only your actual effort, but it takes a mental toll on you getting rejected all the time. Just remember everyone's going through the same thing as you and it will always work out in the end. And if it doesn't, it's not even that deep.
Just live your life. Now getting on to the better information. The first round of interviews for software engineers is almost always a take home interview called an OA. And this stands for online assessment. This is essentially a generalized coding test where they get to evaluate your skills. And it's a great way for them to filter out candidates that lie on the resume. And every single one of these online assessments takes at least one hour to do. So after everything, I ended up getting 22 online assessments, which is honestly pretty good because there was a period of time where I was doing like two OAs every single week. Now from these, I did completely fail about five of them, but then a bunch of them I ended up acing and then getting rejected anyways. Like why would a company make you waste your time taking these online tests and then you ace them and they still decide to reject you? You know, it's just completely demoralizing, but it is what it is. The most brutal one actually for me was Uber because they sent home this proctored test. You have your camera on and everything and I got a perfect score. My resume was great and I still got rejected. But now we're done with the rejections. I ended up getting nine job interviews. This included a bunch of big companies, including TikTok and then some local firms like SquarePoint Capital and so many more. Now I'm mentioning these two companies in particular because their interview process absolutely humbled me. So I feel like I want to tell you guys about it so you can learn from it. With TikTok, I went all the way to the final round interview and got asked a coding question that I simply did not know. So I wanted to show you guys that it's normal to even get to interviews and get rejected. Now, after all of these interviews, I started to get my first job offers. Back in November, I had a final round interview with Autodesk for a backend engineering internship here in my city. The one caveat was that it wasn't for a summer position. It was actually for a winter position and I was not even looking for that originally. I ended up going to one of my career fairs in my university at McGill completely out of the blue and ended up connecting with the recruiter so much so that they reached out to me on LinkedIn and offered me an interview. So if you take away one thing from this, it's that networking is obviously king. Message those recruiters on LinkedIn. Go to your career fairs. Ask your friends and family if they have any connections for referrals. It goes a long, long way. Anyways, in the final interview, I was asked a bunch of different technical questions based on my knowledge of Java and Spring Boot. And I just ended up talking about how I built out my own startup in the exact framework they were looking for. And they absolutely loved me. So I ended up getting hired. And that's why I'm currently interning right now while I'm making this video. And for those people that care about salaries, the total conversation for that role is around $40 an hour. Now, almost a week after getting this job, I got a final round interview offer from Amazon. And at this point, I was kind of just like, this is it. This is my last chance for a big company for the summer. And everything was finally starting to turn around when I was at one of my lowest points job application wise, I was finally seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. So I locked myself in the library for like five or six days and did just a bunch of Leetcode prep. And let me show you what that looks like. First of all, there's this website called Leetcode. If you haven't heard of it already, what are you doing? It has this perfect roadmap for every single subject you have to cover in order to ace your technical interviews. So I just went through and did literally every single question here because though those are the most commonly asked questions in interviews. Now I didn't just complete them. I actually went ahead and created a cheat sheet, which is one of the things that actually helped me prepare for the interview. So for every single question, I would put the answer into this document and then I would color code it based off of how much I struggled. So let's say for example, with this question on sliding windows, I would mention that I was really close to a solution immediately and that this is what the actual solution was. And the idea is not only does it use something called reinforcement learning, because by writing down these notes, it's solution solidifying my understanding of the problem. But then the day before an interview, I could refer back to these notes and jog my memory. So it's almost like I just did the question again. It honestly felt like I was cheating because during the interview, I had a question on that cheat sheet and I literally pictured it in my mind while I was talking to the recruiter. I was so lucky. Now for the interview questions itself, I would go to this website called seanprashad.com slash leetcode patterns. And then I would filter by the company. So that way I could see all of the previously asked questions. And it's an absolute game changer if you do that. Now, after the coding stuff, I honestly didn't prepare too much for the behavioral portion because as I'm sure you know, I'm pretty good at talking. But in general, I would make sure to always use the STAR method and go through all of Amazon's leadership principles. The STAR method just stands for situation, task, action, and result. And that's basically the way you have to go through and explain your answer to every single question. So all in all, my interview process for Amazon included one take-home interview, which I aced. And this had a 70-minute coding section and then a behavioral portion. And then only one interview, which was 30 minutes of behavioral, which was just talking, and then 30 minutes of live coding. And after all of that, I ended up getting the job. I broke into Fang. I still can't even believe it. It honestly still feels surreal when I think about it right now. And again, for those that care about compensation, everything included, including relocation stipend, housing stipends, it comes out to almost $70 an hour. I cannot believe that that is what I'm gonna be making this summer. Now, finally, I got into a position that I never thought was possible for me. After accepting my Amazon interview, I started to get interviewed 
of views at 0.72, Shopify, ServiceNow, ADP, and a bunch of other tech companies. And I started turning them down. And as of right now, I've rejected 11 interviews myself. So that's everything. After 241 job applications, I got only two job offers, but they're at Autodesk and Amazon, and I could not be happier. So to answer the question, was it worth it? I don't even know if I have to actually answer that. Obviously it was. For those of you that are still applying to jobs or that might be feeling down or didn't even get a summer internship, for example, I wanna remind you that it actually does not matter that much in the end. You cannot compare your progress to literally anyone else's and your progress won't be linear. I have seen so many people that had no internships for the first three years of university break into these big tech companies all of a sudden. And if you don't get into a big tech company, it doesn't even matter. If you just get a software engineering job, you're almost guaranteed to be getting paid at least 80K a year, which is well above the average person's salary. So all in all, remember it only takes one yes and everyone has their own path to success. Try to use the resources that I shared with you in this video, get your friends to mock interview you and just keep on applying. And if you're feeling down, leave a comment below and we'll help you get through it. Good luck. I'll see you in the next one.